like dude come on man i just want to be free you never know what is underground that is like a whole office underground a huge underground station man people are just sleeping here i think so you cannot sleep here this is underground station right there were like four escalator and even the price of the uh, bus is around like four dollars you know that's new york city cost man it's cold is hard man place is completely with snow bro wow i think so that's a lake and the lake is completely frozen now this is the lookout point of downtown montreal so i have reached a uh, montreal museum of modern arts <laughs> we gonna go to a place called mount royal park it have a lot of uh, art pieces over there and also it provides a, a bird's eye view of the whole city that's what it stated in the internet so i'm gonna go check that out for that i have to catch a bus to go there i'm not sure like i have any charge left on my card opus card so i must find a way to recharge it and then go on your bus to that place so uh i got to find a metro station and recharge it that's where we gonna go now this is the cathedral it looks big man it's super big they have art pieces lights and inside of it is really really beautiful not even joking super beautiful very tall ceilings art pieces and everything uh i spent like 1 hour or so inside this is the back of the cathedral man super tall and and uh, really beautiful it's constructed with cobble stones everywhere on the sides you know and it have like entrance over here i'm pretty sure there are more entrance on the left side and the right side and back side of this cathedral but uh, here is the side view of the cathedral it's also getting really cold now the temperature have again dropped to minus 3 degrees god help me man if you are born in south part of india i'm pretty sure you don't like cold climate because you are like me raised up in hot humid climate and uh, this cold this cold climate is so irritating you know you have to take lot of things on your hand like gloves and like uh, you got to wear like beanie and like you got to wear this neck stuff like dude come on man i just want to be free you know i just want to be free not take anything speak to people and explore new places that's why i came here but this cold is hard man it's very hard to live in cold climate so we are approaching the metro station now here is the metro and quebec city and quebec itself montreal right like have a lot of underground culture you never know what is underground there is like a whole office underground and like there are a lot of gift shops underground and i never knew this and i was walking past one of it and there was like a underground station and there was also not only underground station there are a lot of speak easy underground as well it have like a huge underground culture and uh, it's pretty exciting and interesting to know this facts you know as i discover it so right now we are walking to metro to recharge our opus card uh How much should I recharge for? Oh, this store is heavy, bro.
still trying to figure out where I can recharge the Opus card. It's a huge underground station, man. I couldn't believe it's like this huge. So, New York City also have a lot of underground station, but this one is kind of huge. Okay, finally found where to recharge the card. So, I'm gonna recharge the card now. So, I finally recharged my card with four trips, which cost around like 14 Canadian dollars. So, now I gotta take a bus to go to Mount Royal Park. And uh, I also observed one thing. This is like a travel tip to you. Like if you come to Montreal and it's super cold, find a metro station and go down the metro station and be there because it's a huge place, it have a lot of place to sit and it's too hot inside as well. It's a very nice uh, comfort zone for you if you feel more cold rather than stepping into shops to warm up a little bit, you can go into a nearby metro and chill for some time and then go back. This is a travel tip you need to understand. We're gonna exit out of this metro. It's huge, man. I couldn't believe it. It's like super huge down here. There are a lot of shops as well. A lot of shops. A lot of connections. People are just sleeping here. I think so, you cannot sleep here. That's why cops are that's why cops are racing that guy so exiting out so to reach this underground station right there were like four escalators four steps you know four levels down it's it's uh it's something unique man for sure 465 is coming over here as well so we'll just wait over here. This is the downtown of Montreal. Looks so similar to New York City, man. Also, I will say one more thing. Uh, it's pretty costlier, costly in Montreal. It's not a cheap place to live. Especially uh, if you are staying in downtown or if you are staying near Montreal. Everything is pretty costlier over here. Even like uh, normal food. Uh, to eat, have a decent food, you must spend around like 10 US dollars and even the price of the uh, bus is around like 4 dollars, you know, that's New York City cost man. So we gonna hike for 14 minutes to go to this park. Place is completely with snow bro. Wow. We gonna at this end of this hike, we gonna see bird's eye view of entire Montreal city that's what I hope for I'm also gonna speak something important you know so just gonna speak about the history of this place during the 18th century like uh, during 1760 or something British government captured this whole place and established kingdom of Britain over here and ruled this place for next 30 years or so by end of 1790, Britishers left this place. So from that time, there are a lot of English settlement over in the downtown area of Montreal. So this is the place where you can find a lot of people who speak English. And uh, uh, the place where I am from, like where I am staying, there are very less English speaking people. There have been a constant struggle of power between French speaking and English speaking people around this place. One of the friend in my hostel uh, who is from here also said the same thing that there is like a constant power struggle, power struggle between French and English. So they don't like English speaking people at all. And uh, I also hear they don't like a lot of Indian people because Indian people have taken over Alberta. If you go to Alberta, Canada, there are a lot of Indian people. It never feels like you have been, you, are, you have come to another country or something. It feels like you are going to Mumbai or Northern India because airport security as well are Indians and a lot of uh, regular paid jobs like uh, grocery shop job or maybe Tim Hortons job are taken over by Indians. 
which rightfully belong to Canadians, but it have been taken over by Indians for much less pay, you know. So they also don't like Indians, it seems. But whatever it is, we are here. We are here to explore the culture. We are here to meet new people and explore new places. So let's start doing that. Okay. So this path, I guess. I hope there is something good waiting at the end, man. Because it's snow and all the trees have shed their leaves and stuff. It doesn't even look like a park. You see, the entire surroundings over here are covered by snow. And it's just me walking. And uh, it's just more like one mile to go or something. More 10 more minutes to walk. I don't mind walking, but I hope there should be something good at the end of this hike. It's pretty beautiful though. I think so, that's a lake. And the lake is completely frozen now. And there is also an ice rink over back there. So actually the path goes over there. There are more lookout points. But I have taken this path and coming here. This is also another famous lookout spot. I'm just considering this because we have walked for some time. And this is also another famous lookout spot. And the sun is setting now. This is the lookout point of downtown Montreal. It feels it's gonna be pretty amazing because a lot of people have gathered around there to see this lookout point. And there is also a church kind of thing going on here, which is, I believe it's locked because it's 4.30 PM. So I'm gonna go over there and see this famous lookout spot and probably gonna return back. Oh, it took quite some time to reach here, you know. It's like half an hour bus and then like you walk for another like 15 minutes or so uh, to reach this lookout spot. So, and it's also ice covered everywhere. This is the lookout spot. New York City have more tall buildings la than this one but it's not bad either it's a good scenic spot if you are in this town and you want to see a scenic spot I would say this spot is good look at here there is a Christmas tree over there and uh, there are like lot of buildings this is uh, this give you a bird's eye view of uh, northwestern part of Montreal city sun have dimmed down lights are up so you can see all the lights of these buildings if you come in the morning if you come at morning there is no point because you won't see no lights or anything it give you a different side of view but this is most probably a night view to look at all the buildings and skyline uh, with uh, lights on them that's a special view so now we have seen the skyline view of downtown montreal and I think we're gonna return back now. It's too cold for me to stay here. And I hope that church is open and I could go inside and see something and show you something. Uh, so this is my getup. I have a neck scarf. I have a beanie. Only my eyes are visible to you, but still it's up now. So you don't have to get scared or anything. It's not a church or anything, it's just a rest place, I believe. It says something over here, it's just written in French, so I don't get it. It's hot inside, that's good. They have beautiful chandeliers. They have bathroom. So it's a just a good dress place.
All you need is just your coffee and you've got to sit here. Oh, there is coffee also. Thank you, sir. So we got our latte. It's petite latte. So petite latte, small latte. And we're gonna sit somewhere, drink our coffee in peace. So this place is full of beautiful art on the ceilings. We're gonna head back down. Uh, it's pretty dark now. Head back down. We're gonna walk for 22 minutes and then we're gonna reach the Montreal Museum of Art. So I have reached uh, Montreal Museum of Modern Arts. So unfortunately they don't allow GoPro or tripod inside. So uh, I just like photos I can take. I cannot take video. Uh, so I'm just gonna enjoy this experience without you guys, without this GoPro. I'm gonna check in the GoPro and take photos inside and maybe show you the photos which I took. It should be like very good art pieces inside. I'm a sucker of art. So uh, just gonna leave the tripod in the check thing counter over here and then go inside. Bye.